FBA. To all the FBA family, let's get behind our FBA brother, hip hop artist Castaway, and support and listen and share the official FBA anthem, FBA, available on all streaming platforms right now. Love, peace, and reparations. My entire family, FBA. You know, well, Lando, let me get Lando in the building. Brother Lando. What up, though, Flex? It's Lando from Detroit. How you doing, dog? I'm good, brother. How are you, sir? Man, so I was watching that debate live. Somebody texted me like, are you watching this? So I turned it on, and that shit was so bad. And I haven't had a political debate in a while. So this weekend, I was talking to one of my friends that's pro-Democrat, and I'm like, look, you got to give it. Like, Buddy was looking bad. And she went off. So it was like, it was two main points she was trying to make. The first, she was like, well, okay, yeah, it was bad. But, you know, Biden, it's all about the people he have that's going to be writing the laws that we don't see. And the second thing was, well, it was like, all right, if Trump get in, everybody first term is cool that second one is going to be that much worse and my argument i'm like look we seen soon as biden got in he was signing laws for agents like day one yeah. remember remember that time it was like those agent laws he was signing as soon as he got in yeah yeah yep. so, so i was, I was I'm, I'm like and look at the end of the day we seen what four years look like under trump and four years look, uh, look like under biden I'm like, I ain't scared of Trump being president. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that, that's not scaring us no more. Man, yeah, the Democrats, all y'all, that ain't scaring us. Trump didn't do anything to us. Like my brother just said when he called up, Biden started with those stop Asian hate laws, and those laws were against us. If y'all don't remember, they were making us, black people, the face of Asian hate crime. They were targeting us. We were going to jail. We were getting federal charges. Remember, up there in New York, they were giving black people the perp walk if they yelled at an Asian person. If you got into an argument with an Asian person, they were in your black, they're gaffling you up and taking you to jail, putting a federal charge on you. And you think I'm a cape for the Biden administration? These people were on TV talking about, I hope y'all remember this. It was a white man with an Asian chick. He was on ABC News talking about, yeah, black people are going around here attacking Asians. And the black community and the black leaders need to do something. They're saying this stuff on international television, making us the face of Asian hate crimes, crimes against Asian people, which was propaganda. This was the Biden administration, the Democrats, all of these people. Now, when we see videos of Asian people beating the crap out of black folks, nothing. There's a whole bunch of videos of these Asian store owners beating up sisters. Yeah. And they tried that out here in L.A. They tried that in Compton. They tried to smash down on a sister and the brothers came through and then towed that damn shop up and they had to move. Yeah. But it is what it is. Who is merciless? Merciless, you you given a lot of hand signals. I'm going to get you in a second, Wokesis, but merciless. Hop on, man. You, you're giving a lot of signals here. What's up, man? Yeah, I wanted to comment in particular with the Asian hate thing, um, where yeah. I will agree with you on the fact that there's a, yeah, there's a lot of whites that also that also do this. We can't reject the fact that we come 2020, we've been a p big part of it as well. I've literally had friends that have came to me and said, yo, I just, you know, I just, you know, docked this, this Asian man and took all his shit. You know, we, we can't deny that, man. I mean, come on now. Tyree, we who? We who? we who? Who are you talking about? We? We, we blacks, bro. Like, uh, like I'm, t I'm talking well, about. You black? Ho, 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 ho. Where, where are you? Yeah, I'm half. I'm half. Okay, hold on. Which half? Uh, my mom's uh, black. My dad's the native. Where's your mama from? She's from L.A., um, South Central, actually. Okay, let's try this again. Where's your mother's family from? Originally, Oakland. Oh, let's try it one more time. Where did your mother's family immigrate here from? Oh, we never immigrated. 
Um, my mom's family never immigrated. We were, uh, yeah, that. What do you mean they never immigrated? How did you? How did your mother get to Oakland from where? 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 Where did they get to? Oakland? Her aunts. Her ancestors were also dragged here in chains. From where? Where? Where did? Where were your family before they went to Oakland? That's it, Oakland. Like, like. No, I, I okay. This is why you capping. I'm not. That's I not never true. cap, bro. You you capping your ass off. You don't know where your family was from before they went to Oakland. If you're talking about pre-colonial period, obviously. I, no, I ain't talking about no pre-colonial period. Your your family immigrated here. Your mama's an immigrant, dude. Your your mama comes from an immigrant class. You can't even name where she came from. What? She didn't just pop up in Oakland, dude. Okay, so I'm you didn't guessing. you didn't think you didn't think your bullshit out, did you? No, 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 no. I'm not bullshit. I never bullshit. But Wait, uh, okay, your mama, your mama has parents. Where are her parents from? She's a her parents are the ones from Oakland. If you're talking about the migration period that they talked about in that thirteenth movie, um, yeah, from the south as well. Where, where in the south, dude? Now, don't you? You're Texas, trying to make Texas, okay. You're trying to make Texas. up something now. No, okay. Texas. Okay. No, it didn't tell you. You had to think about that. No, I didn't. Okay, you capping, man. I don't believe that your family's from Texas. Um, sounds like parts of the United sound States. Like, sound like you know, obviously. Sounds like they immigrated from somewhere, dude. Sounds like your family immigrated because you had to think of this. You understand? No, I'm not. Just and trust then me, also, you talking I'm, I'm about thinking. somebody talking about yeah, I just robbed an Asian person. We don't, we don't talk like that. Who, who said? Bro, nobody I, says, hey, I just robbed an Asian person. Thieves. Have you ever like? Dude, t- come on, dude, Terry. You're, you're you're too smart for this, dude, man. Like, have you ever been to the hood? They brag about that shit. Dude, I, see, I, I see, basically there's some people in this dude, room that dude, have said, that have outright. Said, I, dude, I didn't came up in South Central LA, dude. Word, word, word. Compton and South Central and Long Beach. I done lived all over the hood. Hey, word. All over the hood. I have a business there in South Central now. The Hidden History Museum is in South Central LA. I'm there all the time, sir. I'm always there. Oh, bet. Uh, do you mind if I come visit yeah, you? Yeah, but you're not going to be lying, though. We, word, people word, don't word, sit word, here bet, talking bet. about, hey, I just robbed an Asian guy. No, that, no, they don't talk like that. Because that's not practical. If you're going to hit a lick, you're going to hit a lick for on whoever's conveniently available. You don't target people based on race if you're going to hit a lick. So what you're saying is bullshit. You understand? What you're saying is complete bullshit. You you capping your ass off. I never. That's cap, all. Bro. Cap. I never Dudes cap. in the hood. If you gonna hit a lick, you ain't about to wait until an Asian come through. You gonna hit a lick. You understand? Right. Right. I know. I know how. I know how it so is. What you're talking you know, about? What are you talking about? about? Anyway, get off. Get off. You, get you off. You said. Blind ass dude. See, you know, who, no, dude, if you don't get out of here, yeah, man, yeah, I got some black friends who said, hey, I just robbed an Asian guy. I just took that Asian. Uh, no, no, no. That's not how the streets work. That's not how the streets work. These guys full of it. I'm thinking out in South Central L.A., if you're going to hit a lick, you're going to hit a lick. You're going to hit whatever's convenient. You ain't going to sit around waiting on an Asian person. That's the dumbest shit. Who are you talking to, dude? And then he tried to lie his family. He he had to think of it. He had to really tailor his lie. He, this guy must be a Hispanic or something. I don't believe anybody's black in his family. I don't believe anybody's black. Where's his family from? Oakland? Where in Oakland? No, they're just from Oakland. No, no. Um, then he must have Googled something. Oh, but Texas. A lot of black people moved to Oakland from Texas. He had to Google that. That's why I knew he was capping. Yeah, this is capping his ass off. And I said, where, where was your family before that? Well, they came here in chains. So you got to listen. You got these people who try to cosplay as foundational black Americans. Let me tell y'all tethers something. We know you're a damn tether. Let me tell you, the, the te- for some reason, tethers think y'all, y'all really think you blend in more than you really do. Y'all really don't blend in like you think you do. 
you're not as clever as you think you are. Y'all really not. We, we can ask you a couple of questions and see you full of shit. All right. Tethers really think they're clever. Hell, I'm, I'm FBA nigga. Where, why is your hairline looking like that? Uh, um, um, I, I got alopecia nigga. That ain't no alopecia nigga. Your ass is from goddamn Cameroon. Get out of here. You see, you ain't fooling nobody. Y'all are really not fooling anybody. I really wish y'all stopped. The, the, the jig is up. The jig is up. We see you. I mean, you know what? We when I, I did um we shot a, a commercial the other day. We shot a commercial for um the um, our children's book. We shot a little promo ad and we put up um in the um the Hollywood trade sites, the, um, the casting sites, we put up a casting notice for like um, black children between the ages of seven and 10. And a lot of wonderful children, you know, their, their families submitted their images and all of that. It was one, <laughs> I swear to God, I got to show y'all this. This Negro, this nigga had to be like 38 years old, submitted his images <laughs> like he a goddamn kid, some tether. I, I bullshit y'all not. This nigga, grown ass nigga, sitting up here submitting his pictures to a kid commercial. It's like a grown ass. This nigga look like Danny Glover sitting on a tricycle, trying to pass himself off like a goddamn child. I said these tethers don't damn stop. Yeah, really, y'all y'all not fooling anybody. Y'all not fooling anybody. <laughs> I got to show y'all the pictures. Y'all think I'm bullshit. I'm not. I got to show y'all the pictures of this. The, these tethers be doing the damn most, man. Boy, they be doing the most. Shout out to our non-FBA people who are not tethers. Shout out to the non-FBA people who are not tethers. But the tether class, oh, they do the most. All right, let's get some people in here. Um, um. Let me see. Raise your hand. Let me just have you raise your hand if you're ready to talk. Raise your hand if you're ready to talk, ladies and gentlemen. If you're ready to get on, raise your hand. Let me get um, let me get the Israelite by blood in here. Let me get Israelite by blood. And some random Israelite dude called me today. I, I'm going to talk about it in a second. Israelite by blood? Well, yeah, brother. Hey, Tariq, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. How are you? All right, man. It ain't too bad, right? I'm driving right now. Everything's straight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cool. You cool in the game, man. What's on your mind, brother? Hey, man, that shit was funny when you said this nigga had alopecia. Oh, damn. (laughs) (laughs) They be saying any damn thing, man. (laughs) But, hey, um, I was going to ask you, because I know you spoke about that uh, 2025 project. And I was trying to get more information on that because they're trying to make it seem like voting for these Republicans is like, you know, like they're trying to put us back in chains and shit. So I'm going to drop down. But can you speak on that 2025 project so I can get some more information? Yeah, you know, I'm going to have to do a thank you, brother. I'm going to have to do a whole show on that. It's a nothing burger. It's, it's a nothing burger. They're talking about abortion. It, it's it's a nothing burger. It's a boogeyman tactic that the Democrats are using to scare us. It's another boogeyman tack. It's nothing, you dig? And I think it's it's already been around for a minute. It's it's a nothing burger. Yeah. Um, Noel, hop on, Miss Noel. Hey, Tariq. I hey, Noel. To... How are you? Hey, good. Um, is Biden so racist that he won't save his presidency by just appointing a repar- reparations task force? I mean, like, really? Wouldn't that just save his presidency if he just did that? Yeah, and why it, won't he? Right. All Biden have to do is cut them damn checks. If Biden <laughs> cut them checks, I'd be right up there dancing with his ass. I'd be okay. right there. You did cut them checks and his little <laughs> sleepy ass, I'd be right there doing the Dougie <laughs> with him. And, you know, I'm like, hey, I'll be out there campaigning for Biden. All, but they're so damn stubborn. Okay. They're so damn stubborn. They'll just go down in flames and we'll let them go down in flames. We'll let them go down. Well, let them go down in flames. If that's how y'all want to go, we'll let you go there. 
And we want y'all to know that it was the, the black voters who did it. You dig? We, we need to let them know it was us that made them crash and burn. You dig? The, the Boulay class, the Rollins, these guys are going to have a hissy fit in November. Oh, family, do y'all know the cursing out that y'all are going to get? Boy, if Trump gets back in office, do y'all understand how y'all are going to get cursed out by the boule? Roland is going to be going off on everybody. You, 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 you stupid ass fools. Y'all dumb as hell. You, 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 now Project 25 is going to get us. What y'all dumb ass. You, 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 y'all stuck on stupid. You know, Roland using all them old played out 90s insults. Me, me, y'all know the, all up in the Kool-Aid. Don't know the flavor. Me, 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 talk to the hand. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> y'all stupid as hell. Y'all stuck on damn stupid. Me, 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 me. So he's going, oh, the cursing out that everybody's going to get. Oh, I remember they start cursing me out when they, they blame me and my influence for Hillary losing, boy, because they did some, y'all remember that some years back when um, Hillary lost the primary and I guess they did some market research to see who the influencers were and some of that computer data pointed to me and because I was telling people not to vote. So a lot of, a lot of that data because I, I saw some of these documents and my name is all up in some of them shits of people who were influencing the vote. So they had meetings about me at the DNC and the word was they just attacked me. And boy, Roland was cursing me out personally. Then, you know what? Hillary lost and Tyreek Nasheed is stupid as hell with his dumb black ass. <laughs> oh, they were so mad at me. They were cursing me out. All of them were just going off on me. You dig? You can kiss my ass. All of them. Them goofy boule bastards. You dig? Okay, let's see who we got. What's up, Beth? We got um the bigoted Beth in the, the building. What's up, bigoted Beth? We got the white supremacist female bigoted Beth. Let's see what bigoted Beth is talking about. We had bigoted Beth um on last week with her anti-black bigotry what's going on bigoted beth oh it's so nice to be back here again thank you so much for giving me a mic sir absolutely well so what's going on in the white thank supremacy? You. white <laughs> i was just curious um can you give me a little more information about the bouye because i've looked into them and it seems like it, it it's kind of like the I don't know the black Illuminati or something. Yeah, they they uh, don't have the power. They don't. It's basically basically the the black people you see around Biden. Most likely, they're part of the boule. They're like a little buffer class of black folks who kind of work for the white establishment on the left for the most part, and their job is to kind of um, keep black society at bay and in check. So. That's what that is. And, um, you know, they've been around for a minute. And I apologize. Yeah, but yeah, they've been around for a minute. So they're basically flunkies of the the white establishment on the left. So that's basically, that's a simplistic way of describing who they are. Go ahead, Beth. No, thank you for that. Um, I didn't know what that was. And um, when I do my research, just like we all do, we learn new things. We look into that and we say, I say, what is that? Right. And I'm right. like, it is Kanye West or Ye? No. Is he no. a Bouye? Is Ice no. Cube? Uh, no, 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 no. These are no. more, okay. um, these, no, 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 no. They're more of a... Um, of some of the elected class, some of the people who are elected officials. So, and it's not, it's not like the Illuminati. They don't have that kind of power. The boule, and, and all of the boule ain't bad. Let me be fair. Let me, let me, let me be very fair because you do have people who's in the boule who are not all bad. Some of them are not all bad. Like Dr. King, Martin Luther King was in the boule. Um, A.G. Gaston was boule. These weren't bad. All of them were bad people. But, you know, you got some of the people who's in the boule who actually do good things for the community. And then you got the damn Rollins, who are basically flunkies for the white establishment. 
And that's the issue that we have with that that flunky class. And the um, I did I did a broadcast about that on my back in the Mac lessons days, um, called Black Secret Societies. If y'all, um, where can you access that? Because I broke them down damn near twenty years ago. Um, you can find that recording if you go to probably maclessons.com. It's one of my old pay-per-view specials. So if you dig around online, look up Tariq Nasheed, Black Secret Societies. It's somewhere. You can find it somewhere. And it's one of my old pay-per-view specials. It might be nine bucks to get access to, but I was breaking that down years ago. You know? All right, let me try some more people in here because we are in here heavy in the middle of the night. And again, everybody can still go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com and contribute to the Hidden History Museum because it's still my birth. Well, it ain't my birthday no more, but you know how black folks do. We celebrate our birthday for a week. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to celebrate this mug for a whole week. All right. Um, raise your hand if you're ready to get on. Um, where's that woke tastic guy? I wanted to talk to the woke person, the person with the woke tastic name. I wanted to talk to that person. Woke tastic, are you in here? I wanted to see what's on your mind. That was an interesting name. All right, let's get um, let me get the Iron Mike in here. The Iron Mike. Now, Mike, what's going on? You know, what's going on in um, China? Are you still over in China? And what's the market like in Japan? I want to get the movie microphone check showing in Japan. I know some people want me to show it, um, have it screened in Ghana. Um, Ari the Rugged Man hit me up and they wanted to do a screening, I think, in Berlin somewhere. So we want to start showing it internationally. What's up, Iron Mike? Yeah, peace and blessings. Um, I think, uh, you know, South Korea, Japan, so they're pretty accessible markets, but the biggest market is actually China, like by far. Like you'll, you'll get no China. China, China. China okay, China's got the it. biggest. Yeah, but I, now I do the, say something. Go, ahead go, go ahead, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to change the topic. Go, go ahead. Now. Okay, okay, okay. So in China, would we have to get it translated? Get um like a voiceover translation, or do they understand English? I think, man, I'm just going to plug. I'm going to hit up some of your people and connect you with some people. And just okay. it, it'll be really easy just to translate and put it out. It's right. really quick. You can okay. put out a test in the market and then, yeah, just hop on the plane. I think, you know, Umar, Dr. Umar came out to Asia. He did Japan and China. Like, you'll be surprised. Like, people really want to hear a different perspective. So you'll be welcome, actually. And a lot of universities and students, um, all the old school pioneer B-boys, they're all here in China right now. Like, my whole okay. boy, I can show you some stuff. They're all here, like doing tours, and uh, people really look up to them and admire them. So, your perspective will be uh, appreciated. But I wanted to say this about my man Merciless. I don't yes. stand with you know any of his views, but the brother is real, and I'm gonna tell you, he's half black, he's half Native American, and I've never heard someone black talk about their experience on the reservation. He lives in Pine Ridge, man. Just, I, I think you should give him another chance because. He's been so discriminated against. Like, they, on the reservation, he can't date other women. He can't get married. Like, they treat him like shit. So he's well, got all kinds of experience. But I don't well, think he's not fronting. Well, according to him, he wasn't clicked in with the tribe like that. That's why he doesn't get benefits. So how is he on the reservation? That don't make sense. I mean, bring him back up. I don't, he's not lying about this. I know people that know him in real life. And I've seen his mother's picture. Like, his story pans out. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to put uh, that well, out well, what you're saying is contradicting what he's saying because he's not he's not federally recognized. So how is he on a reservation doing all of this stuff? He's definitely on the reservation. I, I do know that, and and his oh. family wanted to move there. It's a weird story, but anyway, um, I just leave it there. Just I'm just saying. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me about hold on, hold on, hold on, all right, Mike. Let me get him up here. Merciless, what's up? What's he talking about? Yo, so, uh, oh, shit, let me put my hand down. Sorry, I'm drunk right now. Uh, <laughs> nah, but uh, what he's... Uh... Go ahead. South Dakota. Um, I am federally recognized. Uh, I don't know where you 
necessarily got that. Um, but I yeah, asked I'm, you that earlier, and you were like, um, "No, you're not. You don't have a card or anything like that, and you're no, not I clicked do, in I with do, the crowd." No, I do. I, I, I so do. now you have a card? No, I definitely did not say that. Like <laughs> I that was the other person, Tariq. That was a call yeah, before. I definitely did not say that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Iron Mike, my man. Um, yeah, but. Uh, Oh, okay. I guess it was the other guy. Okay, I'm, I'm getting my people confused, but okay, go ahead, Mercer. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pine Ridge, uh, interesting reservation, to say the least. Um, it's changed a lot since 2018, um, June 10th, 2018, Pine Ridge now, riots, you know. Is Iron Mike, how do you know Merciless? How do y'all know each other? I know some uh, some rappers that know him. He knows some um, Chinese rappers that I know that I've yeah, known in most places. Yeah, Jason Chu, that's my homie. <laughs> oh, so merciless you rap yeah 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 i'm not a good freestylist though so if you're about to ask for a freestyle i'm, gonna need, I'm, I'm, not, gonna I'm not i'm not i'm not okay <laughs> so, so so do you so are you living you do live on a reservation yeah yeah i'm in la um visiting family members uh on my mom's side my dad's um originally from the midwest uh he's the native um, so where's and, all this hood? If you're on a reservation, where's all this stuff for you living in the hood? Where's all that from? I was originally from LA. Um, I was born there, uh, nine years uh, spent there, uh, moved around, ended up in the Midwest, um, in the hood there, uh, Chicago Heights, Illinois. Um, and then I moved up to Wisconsin, Madison. Um, and then I moved to Pine Ridge, uh, and now I'm just visiting L.A. right now for my family. Uh, so now, the majority of my life, I've been in the hood. Um, what what hood? What um, East 10th Street, uh, Long Beach, Cambodia Town, um, and then in the Midwest, Chicago Heights, Illinois, um, in particular, Stager. So in L.A., what hood were you in in L.A.? Uh, I just mentioned it. East 10th Street, Cambodia Town, Long Beach, California. That's that's my hood. And you got on a gang of red. So <laughs> are you I'm in not... Long Beach? Because Long Beach is all Crips. It's what mainly Crips. That... Yeah, my cousins are Crips. Uh, I, I, yeah, I understand that. I'm allowed to wear red. The interesting thing is I'm allowed to wear red due to my native heritage. As a matter of fact. Um, Nigga, please. No, I'm, I'm dead ass, Ty Tyreek. Uh, not, not in no damn Long Beach, you ain't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, yes, sir. I don't. Be that you ain't yeah, bro. Yes, all sir, bro. you ain't you ain't you. running around Long Beach flamed up like that, dude. Yeah, oh yes, I am. Yes, I matter of fact, just yesterday, um, I was telling this to I believe oh damn, he's not in here no more. I was telling this, um, I think J Jaime was in actually in this space. Um, I had actually got checked yesterday because I had her on a red indigenous shirt. It said native land. And um, one of the OGs uh, ch checked me like, hey, bro, you can't be wearing that. Uh, th but then I was telling them like, hey, you know, my cousins are, you know, this and this and this. You know, they know this person. Um, you know, it's all good. I'm native. I, I, I wear this shit. You know, they don't I'm give sanctioned. A you know, you and, but OK, any. OK, I can't. OK, thank you. That, this is such horse crap. OK, nigga, please. You ain't running around Long Beach flamed up like that. <laughs> I'm native, and they're gonna give you a pass, <laughs> nigga. Please, <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you don't stop, y'all just be on here saying any damn thing. <laughs> they gonna give you a pass because you native. They gonna drag your ass down Alameda Street, nigga. You don't stop. <laughs> the hell you talking about, dude? Good lord. But y'all don't y'all don't be having y'all story straight. <laughs> y'all be talking like, oh my God, I don't live in these places, dude. You're not running around there flame the hell up in Long in an all Crip city. There's no blood gangs in Long Beach at all. It's a all Crip city. Nigga, you show up there with that red on, it's a wrap. But I'm native though. Let me show you my indigenous card. Don't shoot, bruh bruh. I, can I give you some corn and we talk about it? Or let me give you some maize from my native land. Shut up. <laughs> Idiot. 
This dude don't he don't have his lies together. Again, this dude, I don't believe his mama is FBA. This nigga is not, he ain't got one drop of FBA in him. This nigga mama is an immigrant from somewhere. Please. Oh, boy, these people be on here saying any damn thing. All right. Let me get, let's get Eastside in here. Let's get Eastside. Eastside, hop on. Where are my LA people? Where are my LA people? Okay. Eastside, what's up, brother? Find that if that dude would have been anywhere, he talking about 10th Street. If he'd have been anywhere near Myrtle or Cerritos, that would have been a wrap. You know, that's still mm-hmm. gang east side all day long, yes. Straight like that. He'd have got packed out. <laughs> we ain't finna we ain't finna see him play these games. Now he might have got along with the little rascal with the tiny rascals out there. You yeah. know, he might have got, you know, somewhere with that, or maybe them longos, but he definitely ain't doing that on, you know what I'm saying, on a steel estate right there, straight up. And I also wanted to say uh, happy C Day to you, cuz straight like that, man. You know, man. hope you enjoy it, and hope man. you can get the uh, microphone check somewhere around the Midwest, like Cleveland. We no, d- no doubt, man. Much respect, Eastside. Appreciate, appreciate you, brother. Uh, okay, let's see who we got. Shout out to everybody in him. Much respect. Shout out for the birthday love. People been showing me so much birthday love. Shout out to everybody. In the rhythm of life, there's a melody that dances with every step we take. And in those steps, there's a tale of legacy, of culture, and of the spirits that guide us. Introducing Root Work, where tradition and heritage intertwine. Crafted from the essence of foundational black American Root Work, Root Work deodorant is more than just a scent. It's a connection to the spirits of our ancestors, with six enchanting scents to choose from, each infused with the potent High John the Conqueror root, known for its healing and protective properties. Long-lasting and enchanting, root work deodorant will keep you feeling fresh while embracing the spirit of Mojora, the very essence of root work culture. Root work deodorant where tradition and heritage intertwine. Experience the power at rootworkstyle.com. Let your spirit dance in the rhythm of root work.